So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the Nike Air Jordan 3 Fragments. Can you tell any differences between these two? I think this colorway is clean. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you had an amazing new year and we're starting it off with a brand new comparison. So this is quite an old release, but I thought I'd start it off for the new year. And this is the Jordan 3 Fragments. And it's actually a really nice pair in my opinion. The fake pair is on my left and the real pair is on my right. And this is a comparison to help you if you're trying to purchase a retail pair. So we'll start with the boxes first. And from first glance, there really isn't too much difference in terms of sizing or anything like that. But if you take a closer look at the blue on the lower half of the box here, you can see a difference in color. However, it is pretty close. And if you didn't have the boxes side by side, I don't think you'd really be able to tell the difference between the two. In terms of the Jordan logo on the top, they look relatively similar. However, if you run your finger over them, I would say your finger gets stuck on the laminated feel on the retail one more than it does on the fake one. On the fake one, your finger kind of glides over it. Whereas on the retail one, you can see my finger's getting stuck because of that glossy texture on the top. Then if we take a look at the side of the box down here, you can see that the fake one comes with this protective sticky label over this little plastic thing here. Not really sure why it does this. And then if you compare them side by side, you can see that this circular ring here is a different color from retail to fake. So I'll show you this on the close up. And as you can see on the retail one, it's a much lighter blue, which matches that of the box compared to the fake one, which has a darker color, which stands out a lot against the color below. Also, if you take a look at the fragment logo on the side of the box, and I'll give you a close up of this, you can see a difference between the retail and fake. On the fake one, this is actually indented into the box and has a very laminated feel, just like the Jordan logo on the retail one. But whereas on the retail one, if you rub your finger over this fragment logo, you actually really wouldn't know it's there on the retail box. It's pretty much just blended in with the box. Whereas on the fake one, it does have a very texturized feel and you can actually feel that indented print on the fake box. And now we'll spin them around and take a closer look at the labels. So from the close up, you can see that the fake one's based this on the US label, so it has the US price. Whereas the retail one was purchased here in the UK, so it has the UK label with no US price on the side of the label. However, if you look closely at the text, you can see differences between the retail and fake. However, they are very minor on this pair. But you can see that the font size and positioning of certain things on this label is different from retail to fake. So take a closer look if you are trying to compare the labels on the pair that you've purchased. But nobody really wants me to talk about the boxes for the entire video. So we'll open them up, take a closer look at the shoes. Let's open up the retail one first. So you can see it does have the fragment paper over the top. Let's open up the fake one. And we can see that the shoes are completely exposed and the box is pretty much falling apart, which is really weird. As you can see, the sticky bits of it are literally falling apart and stuck to the paper. And it's just not very well put together. Whereas the retail one, as you can see, it's in perfect condition. So we'll take a close look at the paper. So we're comparing the paper side by side, I'll show you a close up of this. You can see that the Fragment logo and the Jordan logo on this paper is a different color from retail to fake. On the retail one, the Fragment and Jordan logo are in a black, whereas on the fake one, it looks almost like a faded print, so it almost gives off a brown color to it. I'd also say the paper is a very different texture, being much more thin and lower quality on the fake one compared to the retail one, which was much more glossy and higher quality but it's just paper at the end of the day. So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the Nike Air Jordan 3 Fragments. Can you tell any differences between these two? I think this colorway is clean. So the first thing we're gonna look at is this fragment text just above the air bubble on the side here. And if I show you them side by side, you can see a difference between retail and fake. So looking closely, you can see that this text is positioned slightly higher on the retail pair compared to the fake one. On the fake one, you can see it's pretty straight and is closer to the air bubble than on the retail one. I'd also say when comparing these side by side and looking just below the text at this air bubble, you can see that this air bubble shape is very different from retail to fake. And these are both a US 10, so they should be exactly the same. But looking at the air bubble shape, you can see the cutout is very different from retail to fake, with the retail one being a longer, slimmer one compared to the fake one, where you can see much more of the air bubble exposed. The next difference I point out is 
this black leather panel here where the Fragment logo is imprinted, you can see it's very different in size compared to retail to fake. You can see much more of this leather panel on the fake one compared to the retail one. So you can see that the leather panel is just cut a little bit differently, which just affects the overall look and appearance of the shoe from retail to fake. Looking at the back of the shoe, you can clearly see there is a color difference between the two, which is just due to aging. The retail one, this rubber texturized panel at the back of the heel with oxidization and the age, it does go a little bit yellow, which I really don't like. Hopefully it's showing up on the camera. It doesn't really look like it is as well, but it is incredibly yellow compared to the fake one. I've just had the retail one a little bit longer. That's why it looks like this, because I do expect the fake one to go like this. But in terms of the air text and the Jordan logo on the back, it is slightly misplaced on the fake one compared to the retail one. I'd also say that the black color on top of the air text here, is just done a little bit cleaner on the retail one compared to the fake one. On the fake one, you can see it's just missing on the corner of the edges and it looks like it's just been a little bit rushed. Looking towards the heel at this black leather panel once again, you can see the sizing is off and there's much less exposed at the heel compared to the fake one where you can see this black leather panel is a lot larger compared to the retail one. Taking a look at the shoes from the side angle and then we take a look at the sole here, we can see differences in color between the retail and fake. So as you can tell, this shoe is a white and black shoe. However, on the fake one, it is slightly different. So if I compare them side by side, you can see the upper is a white leather, then it has this black leather panel, and then the sole. On the sole from the fake one, it looks a little bit creamy compared to the retail one if you compare them side by side. On the retail one, this is a pure white sole, but on the fake one, it just has that slight creamy hint to it. Taking a look underside the shoe and looking at this Nike logo here in white, you can see differences once again between the text of the two pairs. I would say the letters are slightly closer together compared to the retail one. On the retail one, you can see a bigger gap between each individual letter. So there is a slight difference between the two, but you're not really gonna see this if you're wearing the shoe every day. Taking a look at the side here, looking at this black leather panel here, where the two black leather panels separate, there is a white stitching. If I show you these side by side from the retail to fake, you can see the shape and the curvature of this white stitching is very different from retail to fake, with it curving much more on the fake pair compared to the retail pair, which is just showing that the leather panel panels aren't exactly the same shape and they're just cut a little bit wrong. Taking a look at the tongue and taking a look at the Jordan logo which is embroidered here, there is actually slight differences in the shape, however they are quite hard to see just because the embroidery colour is pretty much the same colour as the tongue with that white and cream. But if you look towards the top where he's holding the ball in his hand, you can see that the shape is slightly off between the retail and fake. However, this difference is very minor and can only really be seen if you have two pairs side by side. So now we'll take a look inside the shoe. So on the retail one, it does come with a cardboard shoe tree. And on the fake one, it also comes with a cardboard shoe tree. However, it is covered in a paper lining. So we'll take this off and compare them side by side. So the only real difference on the cardboard shoe trees is on the retail one, it says on the inside, molded sock liner, whereas on the fake one, it says die cut sock liner. So just pay close attention to small details like this. So now we'll take out the insoles from both pairs. So we'll take out the retail one first, and we'll take out the fake one. So right away, there is a difference in texture and feel of the insoles. So if I show you from the close-up from above, you can see it does have this navy color to the top of the insole. However, you can see the texture of it is very different from retail to fake. Also looking at the logos on top of the insole, you can see that the Fragment and Jordan logo are very different from retail to fake, with the fake one being a lot thinner and not as accurate. As you can see, the outer circle of the Fragment logo is very thin, and also Jordan's arm is very thin. Turning these upside down, I have no idea why this insole's gone so yellow on the outside because I've never worn them, but I guess that just happens with age. But there's a slight difference in color between the two, as you can see here, with the retail one being a more white compared to the fake one being a little bit more cream other than the outer edge of the retail one being that yellow kind of moldy color, but I promise you they're not moldy. So here are the two pairs and that's the comparison done for you. I hope this video has helped you if you are trying to authenticate your pair and trying to purchase this pair because it is really clean. It's just a shame that with age it goes a little bit yellow. But other than that, I think it's a really nice clean colorway and I like the little fragment details that they've added to it. But I hope this video has helped you. Hope you had an amazing new year and Christmas. But thank you very much for supporting the channel. Please subscribe, like, do all that. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.